Uh, so for the cabinet, for the uh, vertical side pieces on the front and the top, um, I decided that uh, I thought I had some mahogany veneer from previous projects that seemed to have a very similar grain structure, even if the color was not the same. But then it's hard to judge the color because there's so much toner and muck <laughs> on the uh, on the set itself. So. I've cut some strips here to the width of the wider um, side panel and I've glued those in and uh, if that works I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Um, by way of illustrating how thin this veneer is and why I'm so paranoid about sanding it, uh, here's a little piece I just chipped off. It is 13 thou or 0.34 of a mil. And that's got finish on it, so God knows what it's actually, how much less than that the actual wood is. So, doesn't take much to sand through that, um, and uh, it also explains why the stuff I'm putting on there, which he said reaching for it, is 0.7 mil, which is more like 27 tau. So yeah, it's a little bit a little bit nerve-wracking trying to get this put together so that you can send the new stuff down to the old stuff without damaging what's already there. So bite the bullet time I've taken out the, um, the band selector mechanism so that I can get at it from both sides because there's at least one resistor, two resistors in here that I need to check out um, and hopefully I can get a look at some of the caps as well just to make sure and I can get better access to give it a good cleanup. Okay there's only one resistor in this whole lot um, but again like the others it was way high so I replaced it. It's down in here a little bit more visible from this side but uh, you need access both sides to be able to replace it so I had to take this guy out of here out of the chassis. Um, for the rest there was one uh, small capacitor which was out of tolerance which I changed. Uh, the rest I did a random sample of them and they all seemed to be okay so I didn't do all of them. Um, just because it's well nigh impossible. <laughs> so, uh, good soak of everything and contact cleaner and uh, plenty of uh, exercising the contacts. I think we'll just let it dry out overnight and uh, we'll put it back in the set uh, tomorrow. Um, so I'm having a look at the moment to see if I can find out why I have nothing at all on the broadcast band or the medium wave. Um, so my first thought was let's check oscillator. And so this here is the uh, oscillator section and uh, capacitor C11. You can uh, see it right here about the center of the screen is where I'm hooked up with the scope. And uh, check in to see that the uh, oscillator frequencies change when I change the selector switch. So, let's see if I can show you this. So, this is on long wave. This is medium wave. For broadcast, we got nothing. This is a trawler band where I got nothing. Then this is short wave one, short wave two, short wave three, short wave four. And so we have oscillator problem. So I'm gonna basically look at the circuit diagram, see if I can trace through the components that are, especially if there are any components common between the broadcast band and that trawler band. Um, if not, then I'll just focus on the uh, broadcast band components and uh, go through those. Well, this has proven to be a bit of a brain noodler, that's for sure. So, in medium wave, uh, you have a trimmer cap up here, you have a Mikey cap here, and you have these twin coils here. Um, I lifted one leg of this cap. It measures close enough. It's supposed to be 360 puff. I measured about 400 which with the leads and your meter and everything else, you know, it's close enough. The trimmer is supposed to be 50 picofarads. 
um, when I looked at it the actual adjusting screw was completely loose um, so I tightened it all down until it reads about 50 picofarads on my meter as near as I can test it there's coil continuity and yet I have no oscillator <laughs> so uh, shortwave is good shortwave is good shortwave is good medium wave nothing long wave is good <laughs> so yeah this is uh, not sure where else to look more thinking is needed